crossing on the other side of 2019 in the house of the Lord, Amen. there is no better place than this. I tell you the truth. If you feel like crying, it's okay. This is where it's happening. You want to complain to him, he's your father. You can complain to He's not afraid of that. But I'm glad 2018 Grace Revolution. We have believed God for divine endowment from above to allow men and women to cross on the other side, to touch what they couldn't touch, to see what they couldn't see, to believe God for the impossible. But I'm going to tell you, in Grace Revolution, it's also the power of God unto you to endure trials. Grace Revolution is not just achieving and acquiring. A Grace Revolution is giving to you to go through difficult moments. Because if that revolution of grace was not there, you could have lost your head. Are you hearing me, somebody? Probably you didn't cross through the door you thought you would cross through. But you are still standing here today, believing for 2019, because not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. It's his grace that kept you alive today. Ah, yeah, talk to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the loss that you have you had. Some of you lost your mom. Some of you lost your dad. Some of you lost your jobs. Some of you have difficulty in your businesses. I'm going to tell you, if it was not great revolution, you could have lost your head right now and turn into the psychiatric war zone of the hospital. But I am glad that when even life hit me, there is a grace that is available. That's why I said, surely, goodness and mess shall follow you. Even when the devil knocked you down, there was goodness and mercy to catch you. Are you hearing me, somebody? When the devil fall, fell, you could not stand up again on your feet and lift up your hand to worship. Mercy and goodness said, this one, he has to go through this and through that, but I have not changed my promises about his life. I didn't change my ways about his life. I didn't change my plan for him. I give thanks to God because of grace revolution. You could walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, yet not fear evil. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Yeah. That's what grace revolution is. Your wife left you, yet you didn't lose your mind and turned against God. Grace revolution. You applied for a job you couldn't have, and you got the job. Grace revolution. You lost your house and lost your business, yet you still believe for a bigger business. For a bigger business. And you just lost the first one, but you feel like the first one is gone. But devil, I am glad you took the first one because the second one is even three times bigger. That's what grace revolution is. Is there anybody here who can give thanks to God because his grace was sufficient for you in 2018? Give him praise and a clap offering. He has been good to us. He sustained us. Hallelujah. You may have a seat in the presence of the Lord. I want to give thanks to the Lord. Because he has sustained this church from day one. And the families of this house from day one. This walk and journey with the Lord is difficult. And sometimes we have unexpected, unexpected tragedies. But yet, God is still good. Amen. I want to give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. And I want to take time to give thanks to the Lord for our wonderful, powerful resident pastors, Pastor John Baptiste and Pastor Jenny, my son and daughter, in who I'm well pleased. You've done well. And God bless you. Thank you for your sacrifice. And we believe 2019 will be easier for you and make you more available to serve him. Hallelujah, somebody. I want to give thanks. If our boards of directors are here, I want you to stand up as well. We need to see you. Yeah, Pastor Tree, brother. You know, these four people, put your hand together for them because you guys have been phenomenal. I'm just telling you the truth. You know why? Because I can sleep. 
That's why you've been phenomenal. I couldn't sleep. You make my life easy. Some of you don't understand it. You know, you need to have people who can handle challenges of finances. This house not bring millions yet. 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 When the million will start coming, all of you guys will be on the board. But until then, we need some serious, strong, anointed people who can manage $10 and still run vision. No, no, you need to catch me. Let me tell you. One day, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, told the children of Israel, you guys messing up with me? From today, you will build bricks without straw. You know, building bricks with straw is for everybody. Building bricks without straw? Until you have little. And you can manage little. You don't know how anointed you are. Everybody can manage billions and throw them wherever they want. But little. And still run vision. I give things for your life. I say I give things for your life. Hallelujah. You know, growing up, you have to be a good manager of little. Nowadays here, you walk under the shower, you open here, hot water, cold water. You don't even care how many minutes you've been under the shower. You have passed already the soap here, you pass again. Two, three times, hot water. In my days, <laughs> you, have, you have a bucket like that to shower. And you got to cover all the party body parts. My God, that's good management. <laughs> Am I speaking to you? And when the water is finished and it's not enough, you use the natural water. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, some of you, you grew up here. Is there anybody who know what I'm talking about? Those elderly part. Or oh, George, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. You go like that. Do, 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 do. It's natural synthesizer. There is no problem with this. My wife is going, what type of guy did I just marry? Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember those days you line up like that to enter in grade two, grade one. And you have your little short. And the teacher walk and look at the legs to see if you shower or not. <laughs> and, and you are in the back. You go, <laughs> <laughs> I give thanks to the Lord for saliva, my friend. <laughs> Don't worry, I can still hug you. I shower now properly. <laughs> I want to give thanks to all the ministers in this house, the laborers, the givers, tithers, and offerers, and first fruit givers, and all these people who come and put their little money every Sunday. And every opportunity in this black grave basket. Because they trust God. You are the difference maker. Amen. I tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Anointing is good. Huh? Hmm? Anointing is good. But anointing without resources is frustration. No, no, you didn't catch me. Anointing is really good. But without finances... You will be anointed and remain in your village on your own, healing people from flies, and you won't see anywhere else in your life. Anointing is good, but I thank God, because there is a vision in this house, provision shall be secure as well, in Jesus' name. So God bless you all for making Cross Point a better place every year and every time. This year we've gone through a lot of changes. Many people have less, left this ministry for good reason or personal reason. Really, it doesn't matter at the end of the day as long as they all serve God. But you know, as for me and my house, and folks crazy like you that can still stand and follow a crazy people like us, I'm telling you, you are in this thing for a glorious end. That amen was too weak. Malangadaya. <laughs> the world is awaiting. Cross Point is 13 years old. But guess what? I want you to remember there is 20 other churches of Cross Point in the 12 years that have been planted abroad. And these pastors 
They are just trailblazers. They are laboring with everything they have, from Pastor Masimba in Edmonton to Pastor Orlando Retana and Pastor Karen for Cross Point Casa de Fe, who are here with us. Can we appreciate them? <laughs> to Pastor Joseph and Akir of Miracle Center, to Pastor Joe and Tui, to Pastor Jose in Toronto, to Pastor Alex in Hamilton, to Pastor uh, 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 Christians in Ottawa, to Pastor Adolf in Longueuil, and uh, Magnifique in Montreal, no. and of course, the only in mine, Pastor Nadia, hallelujah. In Crossbow Nouvelle Espoir, they are doing an amazing job, these people, I tell you the truth. They are fighting the devil with everything they got to progress and advance the word of God. And every one of you in this house, you've sown in all these ministries. So there is a reward that's coming your way. Just be patient. By 2025, this country will count with cross point. I just tell you. I'm telling you the truth. You watch. You will be proud beating your chest. Yeah, you know what? We were the one who did this. I'm telling you. Right now you wonder, oh my God, it's too demanding. Let's listen. There is nothing great. And there is nothing that will bypass and surpass generation that will not cost you a sweat. If it doesn't you make you sweat, leave it alone. Are you hearing me? I will go further. Not only get you sweat if it doesn't make you tear. Cry. Leave it. If a vision won't kill you, it's not worth it pursuing. Okay, I'll make it simple. If you won't die for it, leave it alone. Meaning sacrifice. You know, listen to me. Ministry, sometimes people have a romantic approach to ministry. Oh, anointing, beautiful, it's growing. That's romance. Ministry is sweat, it's tears. You put all your life in raising people and they drop you on the side of the corner without saying bye. Do you think you wake up and you feel like, hallelujah, God is good? No, you don't feel like that. You feel like I'm going to curse you right now. But if it's not because of God's spirit in me, you, I'm sending you right now to heaven. It's painful. You trust people and they cut you to pieces. It's not, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to be a pastor and stand on the pulpit. Standing here and speaking is the easiest thing. I can wake up at any time. But I'm telling you, when you're like David, your mighty men turn against you to stone you, it's not easy. And these boys and girls that are on the front line in Edmonton, in Ottawa, in Montreal and abroad, in Nicaragua, they are fighting with everything they got. Sometimes they find themselves alone with their wife and their children. The people they throw, they drop them from nowhere. They criticize them because it's easy to sit down and criticize. I don't like the way he preach. Oh, if it was me, I would do it better. God knows, but he still didn't choose you. He chose them. So it's a... Are you hearing me, somebody? So be patient with these people on the front line. Be patient with your pastors and your leaders, your bishop. Be patient. Nobody was born a preacher. Nobody was born an expert. We're all here and learning. The first member of the congregation is me. And we are all under construction. Yes. Work in progress. Yes. Be patient. Every year that goes on, I feel more fired up. I believe more. I believe bigger. The bigger the obstacles and the knocked out, you wake up more furious. That's what God wants for you. Relentless. Unmovable. Don't buy into easiness. Microwaves, McDonald's, five-minute pizza delivery. <laughs> Leave it alone. I have a good news for you. It takes time to build. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. When you see a rich man on the top of the hill, don't think he just dream and the next day he wake up and he find himself there. 
he has to walk the hill and sometimes the forces of nature take him down and then he goes back again. I want us to have a relentless, stubborn faith in this season we are entering in and refuse to say no to the devil and say yes to God and his promises. Hallelujah, somebody. I want to give thanks to Bethia. I'm telling you, you're just wonderful girl. I celebrate you and I celebrate the team around you. I know every time we get together, you talk more about your team than you talk about you. And that's great leadership. We all know how much, how much we enjoy this dancing thing. Imagine how many people have gone and passed on this worship team. We can't even count anymore. It will have filled up this church. But you remain faithful. You remain faithful. Even the Kunta Kunte will come and marry you. He <laughs> need to understand. Does this place here of ours, it belongs to here. Yeah. Hey! Yula, I refuse you marry one of my girl and take her to all nation, or I don't know where the Nigerian church are. No, no, no. Here also is all nation. We are 42 nation here. It's all nation also. We are here. The Nigerians are here too. And the Ghanaian are here. And the Jamaican are here. And the Spanish are here. And the Sierra Leone are here. And of course, the Burundians are here. And the people from Saskatchewan are here. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I just want to celebrate you and say thank you. I would like to engage with the theme of 2019 before midnight. And I want you to take in. This year coming after Grace Revolution, we want to enter in the season of fruitfulness. Somebody say fruitfulness. Amen. Project for me, Leviticus chapter 26, 9. Leviticus 26, 9. And I would like we read that together in Colossians 1, 10. And John 15, 5. Leviticus 26, 9. For I will have respect... Uh, put, put the version, don't, don't use respect. Uh, don't put King James. Uh, put NIV for this one. Thank you. Respect is nice, but I like favor. I will look on you with what? Favor. And make you fruitful and increase. Favor, fruitful, increase. That word increase is multiplier, right? So everybody say favor. favor. Say it again. Favor. Everybody say it. Favor. Say fruitful, fruitful. And, multiply and multiply or increase. Second verse, Colossians 1.10, quickly. Uh, Colossians 1.10. So that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work. And growing in the knowledge of God. God wants us to bear fruit in every good work. 2019, every good works. Every area in your life need to go up to the next denomination. It is time we show what? Fruit. I'm reading. John 15, 5. No more barrenness. I say no more barrenness. No more barrenness. Amen. John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. No more barrenness. The word barrenness has five different Hebrew words. And here is what those five Hebrew words mean. Barrenness means, number one, unfruitfulness. Number two, unproductive. Number three, empty with nothing to show. Number four, unable to support growth or increase, unable. Number five, void of inspiration and ideas. Void of inspiration 
and ideas. That's what barrenness means. And there is areas in our lives that are barren. When we talk about barrenness, it's not only pretending to a woman who does not have children. Barrenness goes beyond that. Barrenness is unfruitfulness. Barrenness is unproductivity. In other words, you work hard, but you reap zero. That's barrenness. Or you sweat more than you gather. That is barrenness. Empty. Nothing to show. Have you ever seen somebody who can talk? And they can talk about an area. You feel like, whoa, if I walk out of here, this guy, he owns probably two businesses. Because when he talks about business, ay, ay, ay. You feel like he is a CEO who owns and, and a three, four businesses. And the guy he is not even have a proper job. But yet he can talk about the 10 different categories of businesses that exist and the 10 ways to become rich, yet is broken all the days of his life. That's what you call being unproductive. You know everything here, but you have no proof. Empty, nothing to show. Some people know how to build churches, but they never even was able to handle a cell group. No, no, I will say that again. On paper, they know how to run a church. But they can't they run the family. And they cannot run a cell group. Yet when they talk about church, you say, whoa, Mr. Bishop Ayodepo. Are you, that, that man can talk about church. He has fruit to show. But some people talk as good as him, and they never run a cell group. That's unproductivity. It's like a cloud without rain. Hard talk. Hard hair talk. That should not be your portion in 2019 in Jesus' name. I say it should not be your portion. Now, whenever you talk about something, make sure you have something to show to back it up. Some people know how to plant churches. They never even raise one person in their life as a, as a multiplication or reproduction. But theory, you listen, Christian, we know the Bible, but we do not have the word. Uh, 2019, theories need to go asleep. Yeah. You understand? Too much talk and nothing to show need to go asleep. I'm not speaking to you alone. I'm speaking to us. Yeah. Unfruitfulness. Empty and nothing to show. Unable to support growth. You know what that means? God gave you seed, but it remained just as he gave you. You are a good manager. You are a good maintainer. You know how to keep what they give you. You don't know how to grow it, and you are barren. You've been a millionaire. It's been now 20 years. It's time that you change denomination. You've been rich. It's been now 10 years. It's time you change denomination. You've been broke. It's been now 25 years. It's time you change denomination. You've been talking about how God called you to preach the gospel to the nation. Oh, the dreams and the vision from India to Africa. Ha! The sick were being healed. You can't even handle a camera. You've been handling the camera and, and we can't even trust you. This is just an example. All right? You can't even be trusted with a small matter. Yet you are convinced you are a world changer. Yeah. To go where? If you cannot change this little thing God gives you. I don't want we talk in 2019. I want we work it out. I want we work it out. I don't want we keep talking. I don't want we keep chatting. I want we show fruit. You work in the background until you have something to show, then you can come out. That's what David said. Hey, hey, Goliath, I'm taking you down. You little boy, you don't know what you're doing. He said, I have fruit to show. There was a lion there, I take care of business. There is a bear, I take care. I have fruit to show. What is your fruit to show? In the area of your jurisdiction, in the thing that attracts you, in the thing you are passionate about, what do you have to show? Just talking. Everybody can do the talk. Few people can do the walk. 
At cross point, we don't talk anymore. We demonstrate. My gospel did not come in word only, but in power to be an assurance. Langola mandagalagada. Rindo Goro. Sometimes I go meet some of these young, passionate preachers, and they begin to tell, you know what? I did this and I did this. I say, where is the fruit? Oh, I had a church in England. I say, where is this church now? Close your mouth, sit down. Let me teach you the few things that I've learned because I have fruit to show you. In 12 years, we planted 20 churches and they are working. Don't play with me. 2019, don't play. Don't let anybody play with you. Are you hearing me, somebody? You become very dangerous in 2019. The devil has eaten up your lunch, but the supper, he cannot touch it. I said, yeah, the dog that devoured your uncle is chasing after you, but you need to turn back and say, dog, you ate my uncle, but me, you won't touch me. I want to be violent. Matthew 26, 14, 15. Matthew 25, please. Matthew 25, 14, 15. Two verses. Matthew 25. 14 to 15. Again, the kingdom of heaven, of God, is like a man going on a journey. We'll call his servant. Somebody say servant. servant. Please put slave there. We'll call his slaves. And entrusted them his wealth. <laughs> Entrusting wealth to the slaves? That's really interesting. To one he gave, please remove the bags. Of gold, uh, put King James or NSB or something. Not the bags of gold because you're gonna see only money because there's more than money here. <laughs> money coming. <laughs> I told God I will sing this song until the money comes. <laughs> Unto one he gave five talents, the other two, and the other one. To every man according to his several ability. And straight away, he took his journey. I want you to hear me this morning or this night. For you to understand this thing very well, the word servant is slave. Now, these Hebrews, they are like Indians or Africans or in the old days, Canada and the Western world countries where the society was classified by caste. All right? Where I'm from, I'm from the caste of shepherds. So, in our tribe, we do nothing than shepherds. That's a caste. There are some who are blacksmiths. They work with iron. The grandfather was a blacksmith. The dad was a blacksmith. The great-great-grandfather was a blacksmith. That's what is their trade. So, caste determine what you do or what you inherit. In other words, you don't go out of your caste. Right? Are you catching me? If you're a slave, you will remain a slave all the days of your life because in your family, they are all slaves. That's what I mean. <laughs> all right? If you're a cook, you're a cook forevermore <laughs> until Jesus Christ come. All right? If you're a farmer, you're a farmer forevermore until Jesus Christ come. That's the caste system. So you need to understand the context here. Now, this king, he took talent and he gave it to people. Watch me. God spoke to me that the church has been bound by the devil in the caste system. In other words, many people in the house and in the kingdom of God can never get outside of the boundary of the caste from their descendants. I'm going to repeat because you need to get this, all right? Some people, they will not function in a different pathway or denomination than where they come from. They are locked in it. If in their family they have small mind, they enjoy remaining small mind all the days of their life. If in their family they are poor, they will manage to remain poor all the days of their life. If they are slaves or munyezamus, they will remain to remain in that way all the days of their life. 
They see, if, if I break out, I'm sinning again the heritage of my family. Are you catching me? So I got to remain average because us were humble. <laughs> we grew up average. We need to remain average. And I should not go above average because my grandfather was average. My dad was average. My uncle was average. Who do you think you are to try to be above average? So remain average. That's a caste system. Therefore, when you look at your grandfathers, even though they operated in the village and you are in Canada, you can see the same trait, trait of achievement. If they were mediocre in an area, the same mediocrity follow you because you've been enslaved in the caste system. So what happened to your grandmother is happening to you. And you don't mind because we are blacksmiths. I'm okay to be a blacksmith. I come tonight to tell you your caste is about to change. Yeah. I say your caste is about to change. Yeah. He came and he gave them talents. To one he said, okay, you take five, take two, and to number three, give one. <laughs> I feel, oh my God, he gave him one. And, and he went away. The talent is a gift. It's an ability. You see all of you here? You all have a gift. You've been talented. You've been gifted. I will repeat that. Every one of us tonight here, you've been given a gift, a talent. You know, there are some people, their talent is beauty. I'm telling you, sometimes I feel like, God, eh, this is unfair. <laughs> you really spend much time on these ones. You know, they walk in, tee, 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 tee. And, and you know, it doesn't matter if you're married for 40 years or 50 years. It doesn't matter if you're 100 years old. You will have to notice these people are beautiful. It's a talent because you didn't work for it. It's a gift. Oh, you don't get me. If women understand that, they will become the greatest evangelists without messing around. It's a gift God gave you to some of you to be so handsome and so beautiful. Somebody say, you know, everybody is beautiful. I say, leave it alone. It's not true. <laughs> Let's encourage ourselves in the Lord. We are all amazing people, but not everybody is beautiful. Seriously, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> hey! You might be charming, you might be intelligent, it's a gift. So when God doesn't give you beauty, he will back you up with something else. But don't try to be everything. Not everybody is beautiful. Because when some people walk in the room, you can tell the difference. You don't need an angel to talk to you. You don't need a revelation. You just need to have eyes. When you look, you can tell, this woman, she is beautiful. This man is handsome and he's totally fine. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift to be handsome. It's a gift to be beautiful. It's a gift. Some people, they are so gifted. They open their voice. Listen to me. If you think I'm lying, you take people like a Bethia. Like my daughter's there. And we go, and we're going to be taught by a special a, a, a voice manager, a voice director, a voice guru. Do you think I will be able to learn in five hours the same thing as them? No. no. no because they have a gift. Even when they didn't go to school to learn how to sing, they came out of grade one, grade two. They always select them to be among the choir. Even though they don't know what is a C minor, what is a C Major, they don't know that. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. It's a gift. You have been entrusted with a gift. That's why people can go to school, but yet you school them. Are you catching what I'm saying? 
They went to school, had one PhD, three masters in business administration. But yet, you never been to any business. But you started by selling bonbon. Pecto. This is little candies. You starting by selling dry bones. Five years later, you have a storehouse of meat. Where did you come from? You started by bones, you have a meat. You never been to school. You see those people in the village? Even here, some people are not even educated. They own, they own big businesses. They never have an MBA. Yeah. Where, where did they get that? Gift. Somebody say gift. Yeah. Well, you sit down in the classroom, pay student loans for many years. This guy never spent one penny on any diploma. But yet he can school you in business. Where do you think he get that? It's a gift. God has given a gift to everybody. Are you, do you get me? There are some people, they have a gift of amazing personalities. To 40 people can be sitting talking. They just come in the room. They know nobody. In a matter of one minute, everybody leave you. They are all on this person. What do you do you have around your waist here? How come you attract people like that? No, don't get jealous. It's a gift. They have a personality that magnetic that attract people. It's a gift. There are some people when they talk, you, you can listen for one million hours. You, you, it's like it's a computer. One word come after the other one. Very calculated. He never been. They never been to a school to learn how to do it. It's a gift. Listen to me. I'm talking about fruitfulness. And God has given talent and gift to each one of you sitting here. And guess what? It is time for it to wake up and show. Some of you, you just know how to deal with money. <laughs> you know how to deal with money. I, you know what I'm saying? I am my younger sister that followed me. When we were kids, <laughs> the one time in a the year there is meat at home. <laughs> it's hard to talk to a generation that grew up in Canada. But anyway, you can catch me. <laughs> the one time there is meat at home one year, <laughs> and grandma will, will distribute the meat, all right? She will keep her meat. She won't eat it. Everybody like, ah, blah, 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 we finish. And then after... She begin to eat her meat slowly. <laughs> and you say, oh, give me. You say, okay, I want you to give me two dollars, <laughs> two francs. I will give you a little bit of meat. I mean, this woman, she was a business woman from the stomach. How can you compete with somebody like that? Leave it alone. It's a gift. <laughs> I must bring to somebody. Some people just have some women just have some charisma. You, you know what charisma is? Charismatic, even though they don't speak in tongues. Charisma. <laughs> you know, have you heard Obama doing a speech? Even if you don't like him, you have to listen to him. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? He just have such a charisma. Like Donald Trump, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> by force, by fire. It's, it's a gift. What I'm trying to tell you tonight, God has bestowed upon each one gifts, talent, abilities that will allow you in life to go up to the next level. But if you don't realize that, you will be envying the gift of somebody else. Listen to me. Oh my God. When we were at school, there was a gentleman in our school. He studied all the time. I mean, this guy. <laughs> you know, when you're not smart, you have to make up. So he studied all the time. And the smart people, they don't study. But at the end of the day, this guy went ahead of all these people because he has a gift of persistence and perseverance. Even though he was not gifted naturally to be intelligent, he used his other gift 
to surpass the people who were skilled in an area who were lazy. So what I'm trying to tell you, there is a gift God has deposited in your life. If you can locate it tonight, you will not be trying to be everything. Okay, 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 okay. I said don't try to be everything. I'm going to be a preacher, I'm going to be a businessman, and I'm going to be this, and I'm going to be that, and I'm going to be that. You know what? 2019, specialize. <laughs> I'm just speaking the truth to you. Just specialize. Find your little corner where your gift is the most violent. Can you imagine if the devil shut down my mouth? I'm done because my gift is this thing with 32 teeth. Do you see this? It talks back. This is what my gift is. If you shut it down, I'm done. I was an engineer sitting behind the computer. This thing was not working. I was dying. I throw the computer away. I say, uh-uh, I need to deal with people I can talk. The more I talk, the more I eat. The more I talk, the more I glorify God. The more I talk, the more I advance. The more I talk, the more I change people's life. If you shut this thing down, I'm done. What about you? What about you? What about you? What about you? What is your gift? That's where God is expecting multiplication from you. Fruitfulness. Don't try to be everything in life. Because you will scatter all your resources and energy on everything. I'm a church planter and I have reconciled myself to it. I'm speaking by experience. At one time, I thought I would be a businessman because my background, and then I would be a preacher and be this, this. I sink my family. S I N K, sink. Until one day, my wife told me, Baby, this anointing you had before, to be able to sell a fridge to a North Pole habitant, it doesn't work anymore. Preach. God will feed you from the call. Leave the fridge alone. <laughs> you see, do you understand? She saved my life by telling me that. And then I say, okay, thank you. All my energy now, leave the electronic alone. I am going to preach. I'm going to teach. I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to plant churches. And I'm going to teach some more. And I'm going to raise disciples. And I will raise sons and daughters. I'm going to send them out. And I focus on that. And that's what is my calling. I don't want to do anything else in my life if it's not that. It's to raise disciples is my thing. You, you do your thing. And I do my thing. And she does her thing. And you do your thing. And at the end of the day, God does his thing to get the glory. Do your thing. Hallelujah, somebody. I have 10 minutes. I want to encourage you. In this season we are entering in, you will not go to 2019 December without showing fruit of your labor, without showing fruit of the expression of your gift. I hear me somebody. The king entrusted a slave in a caste society with a talent, gold, and said, if you work this thing out, you will get out of your hole. The gift opened away and ushers you into the presence of kings and princes. The gift brings elevation. The Hebrew word did not say gift. It said the sharpened gift. In other words, the gift that you master. Let me put it this way. Until you become a slave to your gift, that gift won't feed you. I will repeat this. Until you become a slave to your gift, it won't feed you. You see this little boy who do three points from downtown, what is his name? 
Stephen. Oh, eat. Jump. Jump. And even the way you throw the ball is not even smooth. He doesn't know how to do this. You see the theory? I can terrorize. I can't shoot anything. <laughs> that fruitlessness. But that boy, he just throw like, and it goes through. It, it drop it. Do you know this boy? He will throw in a day 1,200 shots every day. What is he doing? He's becoming a slave to his gift. Practice and practice and practice when nobody's watching. And when the NBA game come now, he come like that. And if people don't know he's been shooting 1,200 shots every day. And then they pass him the ball, he just goes, it flow back in. That's what I'm talking about. There is a gift in you that is waiting for you to sharpen it. Become a master of your gift. Become a slave of your gift. Become a master in using your gift. Sharpen your gift. Be a better businessman so you can see further before anybody sees. Are you hearing me, somebody? You know, I'm humble. Whenever my time comes, God knows where to find me. The prophet of the Lord will come and call me out. Then people will really know that I'm a preacher of the end time. They will see how powerful I am. And of course, yeah, they call you out, we give you the microphone. You don't know how to say hallelujah because you didn't practice your gift. Do you know, I preached some messages between you and me. Thank God we didn't record it, okay, in those days. If not, I will take it back like this. And you see, Pastor Sebit, Pastor Sebit get born again through all those messages that was not even doctrine of. No, no, I'm telling you the truth. There was no doctrine. People will come to my house and I will go to the washroom with my Bible. <laughs> and I'm looking for the verse. I don't find any because I didn't know how to find the verse. I spent time there. They feel like, ah, hey, what's happening to this man? He's in the bathroom for so long. I am digging. Somebody say he's digging. It's time to dig with your gift. It's time to work your gift. It's time to practice your gift. It is time to embrace your gift. It is time to shine your gift. It's time to polish your gift. It's time to be faithful to your gift. Some of you are unfaithful to your gift because you use your gift a little bit here. It didn't pay up. You run to another gift. Stay there. Begin to cultivate it. Soon you will become an expert. That's the way you're going to bring fruitfulness in your life. That's the way fruitfulness will come in your life. Hallelujah, somebody. I challenge everyone. Starting with me. I challenge you all, huh? All of you, I challenge you. Tonight, discover your path. Yeah, but I'm a multiple gifted individual. True. But in this season, don't be multiple. Be single. Single-mindedness. Take a domain and cultivate it properly. until it begins to produce. Pastors, practice preaching better. Practice delivering better. I'm talking about casting out demons. Practice teaching. Sharpen your gifts by adding knowledge. Open books and learn from books. Nobody is self-made. Be a good student. Business people, make phone calls. Stop hanging around people who just have the talk but no fruit. <laughs> Last Sunday I talked about the highest dimension of wealth, stop counting. You remember that? Yeah. And Pastor Joe texted me, and he goes, Apostle, I have reached that already. I have stopped counting. My wife is now counting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stand up on our feet. Somebody say, this year, this year is my year, is my year of, fruitfulness. of fruitfulness. No more barrenness. No more, no more stagnation. Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I commit myself to you, commit myself to you 
and to major gift you gave me. I commit to practice my gifts. I commit to sharpen my gifts. I commit to be faithful to my gifts. And I refuse to be empty. I refuse to be barren. Because you have called me to bear fruit. And much fruit to your glory. As for me and my family, fruitfulness is our portion. In every area of our lives, we will bear fruit. We will no longer remain at the same level. We are changing denomination. We are going up higher in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I will walk on higher heights. I will work with greater people. I will work with, acquire great knowledge. I will run faster. I will give more. In the name of Jesus, tonight, change my denomination. Change my status. In Jesus' name. Now watch me now. I want you, you will walk to somebody before this one minute finish. When Mary met Elizabeth, they greeted. And when they greeted, something within them awakened. There is somebody here who have a greeting for me. I will say it. There is somebody here who have a greeting for me. I'm not talking about any greeting. A greeting that will wake up something. A destiny greeting. A destiny greeting. I want you to walk to somebody, visualize, and walk to them and say, greet me and wake up what is in me. Quickly, 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 quickly. Wake up what is in me. Greet me. You have something in you. Greet me and wake up what is in me. You have 45 seconds. Greet me. Wake up what is in me. Wake up what is in me. Don't wish me anything. Don't wish me anything. Just greet me. Just greet me. You have 30 seconds. Just greet me. Wake up what is in me. Wake up the fruit in me. Wake up the destiny gift in me. You have 15 seconds. Greet somebody. I wake up what is in you. 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 Hey! Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Daga ya, ba ya, ba daga ya, ba. Daga ya, daga daga ya. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Take it, take it, take it, take it. Wake it up, wake it up, 2019, fruitfulness, 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 fruitfulness. Fruitfulness, fruitfulness. Oh, se kalabaya. Kaya le bola manda kalabaya ba. Hallelujah. Let's get this song going again. Oh, oh, oh. glory, glory. Ya sa ya la ne kalabaya. Fruitfulness. Fruitfulness.
about to close, may I ask everyone to sit, please? <laughs> everyone, please sit. Kids, go, go find your parents, okay? <laughs> amen, amen. We're about to close. You want to say something? I guess we will help you. Let's go with you, Chiwara. Hallelujah. No problem. Amen, amen, amen. Someone cut one down. Church is not done yet, but we'll be done in a second. Amen. Amen, amen. Um, you are now going to go home without a final blessing. Amen. We have some prophetic declaration to do that will take us to the end of the, the year. We will finish strong. Hallelujah. So I'm going to call Brother Jeff first. Thank you, Pastor JV. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I just want to share something at the uh, when we were uh, during the worship, when or just after the worship, when Pastor JB, you you uh, asked us to start giving thanks, um, and, and I was kind of overcome by that. But I had a vision at the time, and it was a vision of a great tree with roots going down deep into soil. And this is the important part, was that soil was made up of disappointment. It was made up of loss. It was made up of all the things, all the promises that were professed over us in 2018, but didn't occur. And so what God was instructing me when he said, when I was looking at this tree, he was saying, all those things, I'm asking you to plant them now in soil, and I will rise out of that in 2019, a great tree, a great tree that will bring forward fruit. And, and it's so amazing, like, I, I didn't even know this was the message. And, and, and it was, that will bring forward fruit and new fruit. And I will, because my word will not be mocked. And you know what? It's so funny because the devil was created. The devil was created to serve God. And no matter what he does, he can't help but continue to serve him. And so even in our loss, even when he steals from us, we can take that now and plant it in new ground. And out of that, our blessing will grow in 2019. And that is the word I have for, for, for you for 2019. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. We are going to wrap it up very quick here. Amen. <laughs> Apostle said something very important. He said, 2018... Grace Revolution prevented so many bad things to happen. And it's taking us to 2019. This is my declaration for 2019. In 2019, God is saying, the enemy will stop being relentless in attacking you. 
Hallelujah. This is the time to be awake, not to sleep. Everyone is, is excited. It's a new year. But do not close your eyes. Even when you sleep, at least sleep on, with one eye closed only. Hallelujah. God is saying, be strong in 2019. Be faithful, even in giving and receiving. Hallelujah. Some people like to receive, but they don't like to give. God is saying, he works both ways. Be obedient, be awake, be bold. Be determined. Hallelujah. Even in difficult time, serve him. In spite of all kind of difficulties, serve him faithfully. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We're talking about being relentless. We, I'm talking about relentless faith. Hallelujah. Relentless pursue with, with, uh, with Christ. Hallelujah. Be strong because it's going to be tough. It was tough in 2018. But you were strong and you made it to the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God gave me a picture of a lion. And he said, the lion is the king of the jungle. How many know that? The lion is the king of the jungle. But God said, I did not make the lion the biggest animal out there. I did not make the lion the largest, the fastest, the smartest, even the most dangerous. But yet, all of the animals, they are scared about the lion. All, all of them. Hallelujah. All of them. Why? Because the lion is bold. The lion is confident. The lion is fearless. Hallelujah. The lion is bold. That's what God is calling us to be in 2019. You have been equipped. Hallelujah. 2019, you have to be bold. You have to be courageous. Hallelujah. When the lion sees other animals, what do you think the lion sees? The lion sees a lunch. Hallelujah. A lunch. Hallelujah. 2018, 2019, do not walk with fear or doubt or intimidation. Oh, hallelujah. Your enemy will only flee if you are bold, if you are confident like the lion. Hallelujah. Numbers 13, 30 says, we must go up and take possession of the land because we can certainly conquer it. Hallelujah. We must go up and take the land. 2019 has been a land that has been given to you. But you have to go up and take it. Hallelujah. Do not be scared by the enemy. Do not be scared. God said, I will prepare a table in front of your enemy. Oh, hallelujah. But in order for you to eat, uh -huh, do not be scared about the enemy. If you are scared about the enemy, the enemy will eat your food and will eat you. A table that has been prepared for you by God. But because you are shaking when you see the enemy, because you are not confident, the enemy will eat your lunch and will eat you as well. Brothers and sisters, God is backing us up. Hallelujah. A table is there. Go eat. Even in front of your enemies. Hallelujah. Oh, I proclaim relentless faith. Hallelujah. I proclaim boldness in this church. I proclaim courage. Hallelujah. Strength and persistence. Oh, hallelujah. Apostles talk about, spoke about persistence. Persistence in 2019. Hallelujah. That's the only way for you to overcome. I defeat right now a spirit of fear, spirit of intimidation, hallelujah, spirit of laziness as well, hallelujah, spirit of prostration, hallelujah. We defeat them in the name of Jesus. In 2019, you will be more than a conqueror. You guys are sleeping. In 2019, I'm saying you will be more than a conqueror. Oh, hallelujah. God is saying, I will make your enemies your footstool. Your footstool. Hallelujah. Be bold and use the footstool. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. If, if all other animals 
a lunch for the lion, the enemy will be a footstool. Hallelujah. In 2019, do not worry. God will protect you. But you need to persevere in faith. Hallelujah. Like Joshua and Caleb will go up and will take possession of 2019. Hallelujah. Be bold in 2019. Be confident in 2019. Be relentless in pursuing Jesus in 2019. Hallelujah. 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 Be relentless in attendance to church and in your giving in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's my word for you for 2019. Amen. Amen. Pastor Car Car Orlando. From Cross Point, Casa de Fe. Hallelujah. Sorry? I think so. <laughs> Can you put the stand up for a second, please? I have one word for you, Cross Point, in this night. Amen. Amen. Where is my word? Brother. Okay, right there. Can you read with me this word? Two, three. Har. Amen. 2018. No more. Finished, right? No more. Problem, situation, bad things. No more. New year. New year. Amen. New glory. New power. New finances. Money, money. New anointing. Because it's new year. No more 2018. No more. Finish now. You need to put your eyes with Jesus. He has peace for you tonight. When you have a peace, new glory is coming. New anointing is coming. Can you take the hands, you parents, right? Close your eyes. And you receive this night, 2018, peace. Close your eyes. And you receive peace. This is the new year. It's new glory. New miracles. New jobs. New families. New marriage. New husband. New wife. New children. Because a new year. You receive peace in this night. In the name of Jesus. Because this new glory is here. Father, in this year, we put all life in this church in your hands. And we need peace. We need peace in all heart in this church. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come, come and display, touch. Touch. 
all life of this church all ministries pastor families leader believer world changer we need your peace in this night You say thank you Jesus say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus oh thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Pray. Pray for your family now. Pray for peace in your family now. Um, come on, church. Pray, pray for peace. Only, only for peace. God control everything. power new anointing new year new life thank you Jesus thank you thank you Jesus hallelujah Jesus is all understanding. Thank you, Pastor Orlando. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Happy New Year, church. We're not going to sit down, amen? Hallelujah. Thank you for peace. Hallelujah. I want we go to the Bible. We're going to declare, amen? Things have been declared over us the whole night tonight. Now it's your turn to declare it. Amen. Hallelujah. I want we go in Isaiah 119. Don't sit down now. I want some lively music because we're going to declare. Amen. Hallelujah in the peace of God. The Bible says if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of this land. Amen. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of this land. Amen. We're going to go to Jeremiah 22, 29. Don't forget, you will eat the good things of this land. Jeremiah 22, 29. Hallelujah. Oh, land, land, land. Hear the word of the Lord. Today, we're going to decree and declare that we're going to eat the good of this land. Amen. Are we ready today? Hallelujah. Get out of your place and start looking at the land of Canada. I'm here to remind you that Calgary is a place of blessing. Calgary is a place of fruitfulness. Today we're going to say, oh land, oh earth, I shall eat the good of this land. I shall eat the good of this land. Come on, come on, come on. You shall eat the best of this land. I want you to prophesy seven times. I shall eat the good of this land. I shall eat the good of this land. Oh, Calgary, Alberta. I shall eat the good of this land. Oh, Calgary, Alberta. Hear the word of the Lord today. Say it as if you mean it today, church. Declare and prophesy the word of the Lord over this land. Oh, hear Calgary. Oh, here, Alberta, I shall eat the good of this land. And 
every good of this land come to me every good of this land look at me every good of this land come to me come to me come to me oh Alberta hear the good of this land hallelujah 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 you shall eat the best of this land I say you shall eat the best of this land don't forget don't do not remember what happened in 2018 God said peace now on this land peace now on your family now you declare oh Alberta oh earth I shall eat the good of this land that says the Lord over cross point nouvelle espoir that says the Lord over cross point fellowship that says the Lord of a cross spawn organization. You shall eat the good of this land. You shall eat the good of every land you belong that belongs to you. You shall eat the good of America. You shall eat the good of Af Canada. You shall eat the good of Nicaragua in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me today? I want you to clap the, your hand to the Lord today. I believe it. The year of fruitfulness. The land will yield its fruit for you. Amen. Amen. Do you believe it? Now, I, now I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes 5 9. You will eat the good of this land. Wherever you go, you will eat the good of this land. Wherever your feet touches, you're going to eat the good of that land. Amen? You will eat it because God says it. Moreover, the profit of the earth is for all. He says the profit of the earth is for what? Can you put my translation, please? That's King James Version. Moreover, the fruit of the... the sorry. Moreover, the profit of the earth is for what? It's for all. Is it for you? Is it for me? Is it for you? God said, moreover, the profit of the earth is for you and it's for me. Today we're going to prophesy that everything will profit you this year. That in 2019, everything will profit you. I say in 2019, whatever your hand touch will profit you. In 2019, the fruit of your lift will profit you. Prophesy today, it will profit you. Wherever you put your feet, it will profit you. Your enemies will profit you. Your relationship will profit you. Amen. Hallelujah. Your opponent will profit you. In the mighty name of Jesus, come prophesy it. Everything you touch shall profit you. Everything you touch shall profit you. Every door you enter shall profit you. Every door you enter shall profit you. Come on, prophesy it over you, over your family, over your children. Prophesy it. It shall profit you. You shall not eat the fruit of your labor in pain. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall eat the fruit of your labor in peace and rest assurance and in thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah it shall profit you it shall profit you it shall profit you hallelujah now listen to me church of God God sent me all the way from Montreal he sent your mother on New Year's Eve who left the church God has trusted her with to just come to give you this word Amen. So that you know that in 2019, there's a different story. I want you to go in Isaiah 3.10. That's the word of the Lord for you. God wants to remind you. Say to the righteous, say to Cross Point Fellowship. I say, say to Cross Point Fellowship that it shall be well with them. I say, it shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. In 2019, it shall be well with you. For you shall eat the fruit of your doing. I say, you shall eat the fruit of your doing. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. 
it is well with you. It is well with you. It is well with you. Today, I want to relo relocate you to the top. Come up again. Come up again. Come up again. I want to take you out of the tip. The pit of shame, discouragement, and depression. I said, Come up higher. I said, Come up higher. You shall be on the top in the mighty name of Jesus. I relocate you today to the top. It doesn't matter what happened in 2018, it's in the past. Today, God says, I relocate you to the top. I relocate you to the top. Come out, come out, come out, come out. You shall move up. You shall not stay down. I say, come up, come up, come up of your discouragement. Come up of your discouragement. Come up, come up, come up, come up. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. Today, I want to tell you that favor is upon you. That 2019, the favor of God is upon you. I still want the people of God to come up, come up, come up. Come up, come up. Hallelujah. It is well with you. It is well with you. Today I want to prophesy that though your destiny shall not be delayed in the mighty name of Jesus. Your enemy will not mock you. There will be a nourishment of blessing upon your life. Today I want to tell you, you will rise up higher and greater than your mate in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I want to tell you that you are not a fatherless generation. You have a father who loves you. He has good things for you. Come up higher. Come up higher. It shall be well with you for 2019. Destiny, destiny is happening. It shall not be delayed in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, you know, people of God. You're not where you were in 2018. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has been shifted now. It has been shifted now. It has been shifted now. You are in fruitfulness now. You are in production now. I say it shall be well with you. Come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, a new day, a new season, a new year, a new time, new manifestation, new strength, new grace, new power, new might, new love, new hope, new force. Go forth, go forth, go forth in the strength and in the might of God. It is well with you and you shall eat the fruit of your faithfulness. Are you hearing me today? Yesterday is gone. Today is a new era. For the cloud is moving. And now the cloud is the cloud of the rain of God. The rain will come and water. What you have sown is your season of dryness. What you have sown in your season of discouragement. What you have sown in your season of hopelessness. God said the cloud is moving and it's watering. It's watering the land. What you have sown in tears, you shall reap in joy. It shall be well with you. Cross point fellowship, it shall be well with you. I decree and declare in this song that it shall be well with you it is well it is well it is well I bless you with a blessing of a mother I bless you I say it shall be well with you it shall be well with you put a smile on hallelujah wipe your way your tears for this is a new day for my people to enjoy the fruit of their labor Hallelujah. Today I want to speak a little bit. For two minutes, we're going to pray in the spirit. We're going to shake off everything that's been holding us down. Come on, come on. We're going to seal it. We're going to seal the word of the Lord. The rain of your my presence, I am the I want to water my people with strength, with courage, with hope. Yeah, man, the kind of us, yeah, they can 
Yes, God. Yes, God. For I see a plane that is about to go up. You see the, the flames on the fire that comes out of the, the wings. I don't know how they call it. I see it. It's like you're a plane that's been seated, that's been ready to go up. Yemanda shotoko. I say go forward. I say go with strength. I say go with might. I say go with assurance. It is well with my church. And I feel the Lord is saying, I'm pleased with your persistence. I'm pleased with your faithfulness. For even in hard times, you have kept your face to me, unto me. You did not waver into believing that I was still the God that performs miracles. For it is faith that pleases me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So I say to you again, it shall be well. With you, you shall eat the fruit of your working and your doing. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We will release you, uh, but I would like to bring that to your attention. God put on your heart to give an offering of thanksgiving. You're the basket. Put in whatever God put on your heart. I want to remind you quickly on the 6th of January 2019, that's next Sunday, uh, we'll engage in our 21 days prayer and fasting as the first fruit to the Lord. Give him our first prayer, our first uh, fasting, and our first fruit of our income. 
So which day is that? 20, uh, the 6th to the 27th. May the Lord bless you. Hug somebody and say, welcome to fruitfulness. We love you. I bless you. I bless you.